But here it is. Yeah, so I was trying to, I was like looking back and like, when did Leo fall off the map, right? Because he was Mr. Consistent. He basically was just as consistent as what Centro is. And yeah. they both made, now, they're not always running in the same time of a world championship window, but they both finished yeah. top three at USA's for the first time at age 21. And then mm -hmm. both of them never not finished top three until age 31 when Leo finished fourth at the Olympics. At age 31, Centro finished second at the uh, Olympic trials. Uh, Centro finished second at the Olympic trials. But then after age 31, that's when Leo was basically done. He didn't make, you know, he, he gets fourth, then he gets heats, heats. Same mm -hmm. thing here, Centro, he's on the same timeline. You could argue that yeah. we're, we're about to see it soon. For the odds of him being top three at age 33 are not really, or 32, aren't as mm -hmm. normal. And again, he can easily do it. I could, looking back on my prediction that Central will make the world team this year, I could see maybe age 32 is his last hurrah because one, it's at home. Two, like 32 is still, it's not mm -hmm. the same thing as 36. And hey, what's one more year, right? He also had like mm -hmm. the mulligan year of COVID, so it's one less year of hard racing on your legs. So maybe that he can make up for that. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of interesting. They both made what Leo was top three 10 times in a row. Yeah. Centro has been top three eight times Nine. in a row because he skipped two, obviously one from COVID and one from uh, he didn't compete in 2018. Or fourteen. What there's year? nine there. Whatever there, year. There, yeah. There's nine there. I think. Yeah. There's nine. Oh, there. nine. What? One, two, three. Even without. Four, five, even without yeah, nine. Four. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's on a nine top three streak. Leo had a ten top three streak. So that's mm -hmm. going for ten to tie up Leo. Yeah, and to clarify, these are USA finishes, and not all USA's led to World Championships or Olympics. But it is just a signal. If you forgot out there how good. Leo Manzano was, here's a reminder right there. I mean, that is an impressive array of consistency. We talk about Jenny Simpson on the women's side all the time, going from 2007 all the way to 2019, making every single team. Well, Leo had a really great run there too. I don't want to just say their careers are going to be carbon copies of each other though. And uh, I stand by my point yesterday. I think, I think Central, looking at how well he ran last year i think he's got at least more uh one more run in him for a major championship team especially given that it's a opportunity to run it at hayward field so gonna be tough to medal but i think he can get on that team 23 might be tough but we're talking 22 for now i do have one more stat with regards to the men's 1500 you ready for this so i went sure. through the 2021 team, the 2019 team, and the 2017 team, the people who finished top three in those events on the men's and women's side. So it's a total of 18 qualifiers, right? Some of them mm -hmm. made it multiple times, but it was 18 unique athletes at their whatever they did it. These were the ages of the people who finished top three in the 1500 at USA's in both the men's and women's side from the past three race past three championships these are the mm -hmm. ages cole hawker was the youngest he would he did it at age 20 but these are the ages 20 22 24 25 25 25 26 26 26 26 27 28 29 29 30 31 31 and 32 mm -hmm. jenny simpson was the oldest to do it she did it at age 32 back in 2019 Centro yeah. in June of 2020, 2022, excuse me, he'll be 32. So yeah, basically he's on that edge of like, you know, most of the people who are making teams, their age is 24 to 29, right? A lot of 26s, yeah. 27s, 28s. So for Centro to make it at 32, he'll be definitely on the upper echelon of qualifying. Speaking of.